Hello all, we are going to work on 4.5, which is exponential and logarithmic applications. So really it's just solving word problems or application problems using exponents and logarithmic rules. So let's take a look at a couple examples. So the first one here says compound interest formula is A equals P times one plus R over N to the N minus or N multiplied by T. Suppose that 3,000 is invested, we know that's our principal, that's our P, in a 3% interest compounded yearly, so our R is 0 0.03. Compounded yearly means that N is equal to 1. How long will it take, so we're being asked about a time, for the investment to triple? So if we want it to triple, our A is going to be 3 times 3,000 which is 9,000. So now we have everything we need to go ahead and solve. So we have 9,000 for A, 3,000 for P, times 1 plus 0 0.03 for R, 1 for N, N, a T. So we can simplify this down, right, to 9,000, equals 3,000 divided by 1 is not going to change that so adding 1 will be 1.03 to the t so now we can solve um, first we can divide by 3,000 so we isolate the, pro the term with the exponent so 9,000 divided by 3,000 gives us 3 equal to 1.03 to the t so from here, we can use our uh, rule to change it to a log. So we get that t is equal to log base 1.03 of 3. So t is equal to log of 3 over log of 1.03 if you're using the change base formula. And so you would get T is approximately 37.18 years. So that's how long it would take to triple the account. Let's look at another one. Suppose that 3,000 is invested at 3% interest compounded continuously. So we have A equals P E R to the T, how much is in the account after 10 years? So A is equal to 3,000 E to the 0 0.03 times 10. That one you should be able to just put straight into any calculator. Um, and you would get $4,049.58. Then part B says, how long will it take for the investment to grow to 20,000? So this time we're putting 20,000 in for A and we're looking for time T again. And so we can divide both sides by the 3,000 like we did before to isolate that term. It doesn't divide into a pretty number, so I'm just going to leave it as a fraction. Then when we change it to a logarithmic, we will get, um, since I have E here, I'm going to use LN. LN of 20 over 3. is equal to 0 0.03 T. So T is equal to LN of 20 over 3 divided by 0 0.03. So T is approximately 63.24 years. And we have one more example here. A top quality um, phone fax com 
the copying machine is purchased for $595. It value each year is about 80% of the value of the purchase year. After T years, its value in dollars is given by the exponential function V of T equals 595 times 0 0.8 to the T. Find the value of the machine after two years. So that's just substituting in two to the formula. And that you should be able to put straight into a calculator and it would give you $380.80 is how much it would be worth after two years. Part B says the company decides to replace the machine when its value has declined to 200. After how long will the machine be replaced? So this time the value is 200 and we're solving for the time. So this one works out just like our previous problems have. We can divide and oh, that's not two, that's T, that's what we're solving for. And use logarithmic rules to give us log base 0 0.8 of 200 divided by 9. The 595 equals T. And this one, you could do it like this if you had a names work calculator. If you didn't, you could use the change base formula, which would mean you would first put in log of 200 over 595, all of that divided by then log of 0 0.8. So for time here, you get approximately 4.89 years. That's the conclusion of 4.5. So next time we're together, we'll look at 4.6, which is your last lesson.